Virtual reality, an immersive technology that has the power to transport users anywhere in the world or the universe. But what if I told you that there are people trying to use virtual reality to treat chronic pain and anxiety? What? Huh? How? Who? Ah! But yeah, that's what this video is all about. So let's dive into chronic pain. When you have chronic pain, you are willing to try anything to not hurt. So I've been making a whole bunch of videos in trying to find what can I do to treat the chronic pain and chronic illness that I live with every single day. So today I am meeting with the founder of Flowly, Celine Tien, to find out how the hell does this work? <laughs> what are you about to do to me? Zach, we're about to do the ice bucket challenge. I don't and... want to. I'm not good with the cold. We did our little ice bath thing, and I don't know if you guys noticed, my hands and my feet were sticking out. It hurts very quickly. And so the idea is you put your hands in the ice bucket, and we will measure right now your baseline, which is how long you can keep your hand in the ice bucket. Oh, oh, it sucks. <laughs> oh, it sucks so much. And then we'll do another version where you're in virtual reality and see if it helps you stay in longer. I want to take it out. Okay. I'm going to take it out. All right. Oh my god, that was awful. <laughs> How long was that, like two minutes? No, 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 that was 30 seconds. Ah. <laughs> when you think of chronic pain management, it's not very fun. Or no one's like, oh, today I want a chronic pain manage, you know? So yeah. when you give them the option of doing it while they're sitting on the beach with aurora lights above them or in another planet, it makes it a lot more pleasant and effective experience. So this is a, a VR app. Mm -hmm. that helps with chronic pain, but also, what, anxiety? Anxiety, depression, issues with sleeping, and even socialization. You'll be sitting on the beach with the aurora lights above you. Oh, I'm in a wave world. Whoa. And at the same time, you're gonna see a breathing guide that we customize to each person. And as you do better and better, more aurora lights will appear in the sky. So my breathing is affecting the world around exactly. me. Exactly. You turned breathing controlling into a very soothing video game. Yeah, exactly. that's one way to put it, yeah. I have heard that you can control your pain response through breathing. How the hell is that true? We use these mechanisms, the, the classic teachings called biofeedback, so we can actually control our heart rate, we control our blood pressure. And what you're doing is kind of training yourself to control your pain. Because if I can control your heart rate and soothing breaths, I, to some degree, can control the output in my brain that says, hey, tamp this down. It's not as bad as what your back is telling me right now. We can control some of this. Strap me up. Let's awesome. do this. First sensor we have here is a chest strap respiration sensor. And, I feel uh, like I'm a pretty woman. <laughs> the next sensor here is a actually brainwave sensor. Do I look like Professor X right now? I a feel little, cool. Yeah. Biofeedback in its classic form is pretty inaccessible though. Yeah, so traditional biofeedback is really hard to access because you need a bunch of equipment to set up and then you need a clinic that will actually have it. So this next one is a skin conductance sensor. I do. So skin conductance essentially measures the sweat. The last piece of the puzzle is the heart rate sensor. So this will clip on your ear here. What are you guys talking about? This getup is totally accessible. <laughs> <laughs> so there'll be a breathing guide on the screen that you follow. Uh, you'll see your graphs. We're primarily looking at heart rate and heart rate variability and the more it changes the kind of the healthier it is for your nervous system which is kind of counterintuitive for a lot of people this is a lot for me to process <laughs> <laughs> So the, the height doesn't matter as much, it's more the shape that we're looking at. The idea is that you actually want your graph to kind of look like a smooth sine wave or kind of like a, a serpent. This doesn't. Yeah, exactly. This is the scariest mountain I've ever seen. <laughs> so in here, in the beginning, this is kind of when you were following the breathing guide for a moment. This is, this is what it looked like. Okay. Right now while we were talking, you know, it's a little more random, a little jagged, but as you're breathing slowly, we're starting to get this consistency. Your heart rate is speeding up as you're inhaling, slowing down as you're exhaling. And that's the goal. That's the goal, yeah. It means your parasympathetic nervous system is more activated. What made you think to put this into VR? VR has been used since the 80s for pain management. Really? And it, yeah, I know, isn't that crazy? Wait, yeah. for people who've never done VR, Maybe they picture Ready Player One, maybe they picture a more archaic version. What, what is the experience of entering a VR headset? When you say Ready Player One, I'm thinking like, we're gunning Guns up, firing, we're dinosaurs like battling. Chasing me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like the complete opposite. This is not 
Flowly. No. Uh, what am I about to do? So you're about to do a interactive VR film experience. It's something called Pippa's Pan. Oh, this is so pretty. I either look so cool or so stupid right now. <laughs> look at us, just three friends touching hands. I've had an acid trip that was totally like this. I honestly, I have no idea where everyone else is right now. I am totally lost in this world. I don't know if the camera's over there or over there. I don't know where you are. Okay, I wanna do more. Get me back into that world. Should we do Sugar Cat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now you think that me playing this game is gonna make me able to keep my hand in here longer. Studies show that that's the case, so yes. <laughs> it's a virtual reality game where you're going to be catching sweets for to feed the cats in the game. <laughs> and you want to make them happy, so the of more sweet. I want to make them happy. <laughs> but you also want to avoid the poop at the same time. Uh, so obviously. Oh, here we go. Avoid the poop, get the cake. Oh, it definitely still hurts. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gotta feed my kitty cat. Poop. Am I past my time yet? <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm really surprised to hear that it helps with acute pain, meaning like the, the <laughs> severe in that moment. Pain. It's actually something called the gate control theory. There's a gate in your body between you know where your focus is, and with VR, we can kind of switch that so that instead of focusing on where your pain is, you're focusing on the virtual reality environment. 2000! Oh, oh, my up. cats are bigger! Oh, my cats are so big! Uh, okay, I don't think I can take this anymore. I'm taking my hand out. Take it. Whew. Uh. How did I do? All right, so you did 30 seconds last time. This time you did 41 seconds. Whoa, Yay. that's quite an yeah, improvement. That's pretty like good. 33%. By having my brain distracted, I was able to withstand a stimulus for longer. Exactly. What percentage increase do most people get from this kind of experiment? What you experience is pretty typical, like a 30 to 50% increase in their time. But this is also very different, right, from chronic pain management. Yeah. This is more of like a fun exhibit of what VR can do if you have pain in the moment. What we do is completely focus on teaching you skills that you can use outside of situations. What is the VR tech that you guys use for your app? So we send people a headset, right? But the actual computer that you know powers the VR experience is your smartphone. The no. one that everybody has in their pockets, they can use. This phone right here with the yeah, Jigglypuff case. Pull, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, with a Pokemon case. Wow. So we've combined what we did outside with traditional biofeedback, where you had a bunch of sensors. We made it so it's only on one sensor now, which is what Julian's holding. Uh -huh. And then that big VR setup you saw. Just my cell phone. Now it's go just right your cell here. phone in there. Wow. And so in Flowly, we have a bunch of different worlds. Um, and today we're going to have you try Wave World. You are going to follow the breathing guide, and you're going to see your real time heart rate and basically what you want to try to do is get your body in flow. Is it like a video game where it's like nice job <laughs> keep <laughs> no, breathing. We try to keep it a little more relaxing okay. than that but it's like a um, friendly reminder. I'm excited well, but I'm gonna be chill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Welcome back to Wave World. <gasps> Thanks for having me. Take a moment to immerse yourself in this world. Oh wow it's beautiful. You will be collecting your resting HRV as you do so. Okay. Feel the light touch of the ocean breeze on your face and arms, and listen to the waves moving in and out, in and out. That was so soothing. <laughs> I can't make jokes during this. In your own time, begin to inhale slowly through your nose, and exhale slowly through your nose. <sighs> Continue to take slow, smooth breaths. Who are the people who the current system is least accessible to? And is that part of your guys' mission? A huge reason we started this company is to make pain management more accessible, but also to increase the conversation around chronic pain. I think not a lot of people realize this, but the majority of chronic pain patients are women. Mm -hmm. And they're often much younger than most people expect. So actually in their 30s to 50s. I mean, it ranges, but that's yeah. where a lot of them are. It's not what people think. It's not what people think. And a lot of times in the healthcare system, Women are the ones who are gaslit by um, the medical community who do not get proper diagnosis or any diagnosis at all. I was gaslit about my pain for years and I'm a white dude. Like it took me years to get a diagnosis yeah. and I know that for many women, for many people of color, it takes their entire lives. Most of our members in Flowly, they've seen at least like five to 18 doctors and they can't get a diagnosis. A lot of them 
are women of color are disproportionately affected by a lot of autoimmune diseases yeah. and so they don't get the proper care or education growing up or in their communities around how to manage how they feel on a daily basis. As we near the end of the session today, follow the air all the way in as you inhale and follow the breath all the way out as you exhale. Wow, there's another one! Whoa. <laughs> I'll give you a moment here to <laughs> reacclimate yourself to this world. That is the most instantly relaxed I've ever been. It's like, shouldn't operate heavy machinery relaxed. At the end, you had these really consistent, kind of beautiful curves. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. When you say that it's effective, how effective are we talking? Essentially, we're just teaching you to reduce your heart rate by 15%. Okay. reduce your breathing rate by 15%. So eventually the goal is that you can do it even when you're outside of biofeedback sessions. And I never want people to have the impression that we're saying this is a silver bullet or this is the yeah. end all be all because- There isn't one. There isn't one. And I, we've worked with enough severe chronic pain patients to know that everybody needs a toolbox. Give you your own <gasps> kit oh, wow. to use at home. Look, that's me. That's, that's him. <laughs> that actually does kind of look like me. <laughs> Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. That's not, yeah. not too far off. So can virtual reality help treat your chronic pain and anxiety? In my experience, I think it can help. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it. And when this video comes out, I'll let you know where I'm at with it. All right, that's the video. I'm Zach, my body hurts. I'll see you next time. Blasting off, whoa. No, fuck up the green screen. It is a game, but it's a calm game, and I'm winning. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the f*** was that?